Welcome to the Ram at Homes Challenge. So each week we have been devising new challenges for you to take part at home with the idea that you can create your own little exhibition space of Ram inspired objects and artifacts from the museum. So this week we're going into the butterfly room which I'm sure lots of you may have visited if you've been to the museum because it's quite a popular place to, to visit. Um, and we're going to work with the blue morpher butterfly. So what you're going to need for this one is some card, some scissors, a little piece of wire or a paper clip if you've got one, some double sided tape, a clothes peg, um, and there's something to colour in your blue morpher butterfly. So I've got a selection of blue pencils. I'm actually going to do the borders or the outside edges of my um, blue morpher butterfly in black pen but you could equally use um, pencils and also I've got a white pen here to add the little dots but if you haven't got anything like that you could use um, paint. Um, I'm going to just use an old piece of cardboard packaging to draw on which is fairly flimsy so it's not too thick. Here we are and just to show you but you could use paper if you want to. The nice thing about using card is it just is a bit more sturdy when it comes to sticking on to your clothes peg. So it's your choice if you want to attach it at the end to a clothes peg. It might be that you just want to hang it from the from a piece of string and then hang it up in your window or make a little row of them or a string of them to make a little mobile. Um, that's completely up to you but I'm just going to show you today how to draw first of all and then cut out and attach your blue morpho butterfly. Okay, let's get making. So the first thing I'm going to do is just have a look at the size of my clothes peg because I don't want my butterfly to be any bigger than any bigger than this. So if I just very gently use my, I'm using a blue pencil to draw this out, but you would be best to use a pencil <coughs> and draw your lines lightly um, so you can rub them out before you start colouring in. So I'm just going to draw a little oval shape with the head and then I'm going to do a sort of sausage shape for the body and then the wings are going to come out here and here so I'm doing two curves in the middle and then there's going to be another one which comes out here so if you just try and get those lines first of all onto your bit of card or paper that, that will really help you in doing the next bits so I'm going to bring this line out a bit and then just draw two circles, one thin and one bigger. So I've got that kind of shape. So the hard bit is then to try and do it in a similar place on the other side. So it's kind of two circles on top of the other. There we are. And then for the bottom, I'm just going to bring it out here and bring it out like that. So it's like another oval shape. There we are. And then you can start adjusting it to just make sure it's similar kinds of sizes. I think this bit needs to come up a bit more on this side so they're equal. So the butterfly, the morpher butterfly kind of has this sort of scalloped edge along the bottom here. So it's like a backward scallop. There we are. I'm just going to do that all the way down. So about there and then keep it a bit straighter. And I'm also going to do this sort of backward scallop here as well, going up. There we are. So just to show you enlarged, a backward so a scallop shape is like that, and a backward scallop is that way around. So that's what you're looking to draw around the edge. So then we're going to put a border around each edge of the wing. So I'm going around, just drawing a straight border. When I get to this bit here where this top circle is, I'm going to keep it more like a wing shape and then that gives it 
so it will look like that. So you're basically you're going around the border but when you get to the bit where the circle is you keep going and then go back along the border and then you're going to do the same on the other side. And when you've done that you might want to get a darker colour here and this is for the veins on the wing. So this wing here has like a little square shape going off it like that. Should have done it like that. It's got these little squares coming off from the body and then you're just going to draw wing stripes coming off. Like that. And you probably want to do a similar thing on the bottom but I think these have like almost like tree shapes coming down from it. So it goes down into one and then it goes into a V of two. A bit like roots on a tree. <clears throat> and then when you've done that, you get your nice pale blue or whichever colour you've decided to choose to use and start colouring in. I really like the effect of colouring pencils on brown card. I think they work really nicely. So I'm just going to press quite hard and I'm going to do that all the way around my butterfly. So once you've finished colouring in, colouring with the light blue, as you might be able to see, I've just started to add some shading. So I've done a bit at the top of the wing, splaying out from the body in the middle of the wing, at the bottom of the wing, and obviously that's the same on both sides because they need to be reasonably similar. There we are. So when you feel that you've got all your added shading and extra blues on, you can actually start getting your pen. You can see I've started already. I'll start going around your border and just marking this off in black. So now I've finished colouring around, around my border, the next thing I'm going to do is just colour in the body, giving a little bit of shape around its head. There we are. So you might need to go over some of the bits of black or some of the blue to neaten things up and then once you think you're done <clears throat> this is it is really satisfying and this is getting the white pen and we're going to put the little white dots into it so around these bits here you can put some big nice big white circles there we are and then around here, I might want to just draw some little semicircles. If you don't want to draw semicircles, you could always do some more dots. Both look great. I think the white and the black and the blue show up really well together. <clears throat> and there we are. There we have our drawn Morpho butterfly, which I am now going to cut out. So we would absolutely love it if you could um, send in your creations. So you might want to make your blue morpher butterfly or like with the giraffe you might have ideas of how to uh, incorporate the wonderful pattern that the blue morpher butterfly has into something you have at home. Anyway we would love to see these creations so if you get a chance to send them in or photograph them and hashtag them to Graham at home that would be fantastic. And this week's um, crafty project we would like to dedicate to the friends around the world of the Hikma community group 
and friends at the Hindu Cultural Center. So big thank you and wishing you all a peaceful week and just to let you know that we are thinking of you.